Hey, okay, you guys, it's me, it's Coach Mo. Now, this video segment right here, what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about um, out there um, basically getting solid leads offline. And when I say offline, this is like when you're going to the store, when you're going to the beauty supply store. The last video I did, I talked about how you can go to and get the books that are outside your local grocery store. Now, I have another secret. Um, what you see right here is, hold on a second because I want to you up there. What you see right here is, um, a whole bunch of business cards that I just collected yesterday, uh, or the day before yesterday. Uh, a lot of business cards and stuff. I have more of these. Okay. Now, um... And as you can see, it's business cards. These are people's business cards. Um. Okay. Um. What was the question? Um. Different things. Oh my God. Tons of things. Uh -oh. Tons and tons and tons of tons of business cards. Here in Douglasville, we have a we have hotels and people are staying in them. To, um, they're basically living in them, so they're paying a weekly fee. Um, I feel like that I have a program that will help them be able to get the money that they need to be able to either fix their credit or do whatever it is that they need to be able to get their families out of these hotels. So, um, I would like to introduce this to the hotel. So, you know, when you guys think about it, look around, you have. You, it's money all around you. It is information all around you. You just got to look. When you go into your local beauty supply store, your barbershop, um, right there at the door, they have a place for people to put business cards or their cards. Just take some. Just each one. It'd be a whole bunch of it right there. Just start picking them up. Put them in a bag and take them home. I got a little bag that I carry out with me. Um, I love doing it. It's fun. Um, another thing um, I do is, if you notice where they keep maybe like the auto books, sometimes you'll see these signs and say you can place your business at, um, you know, in here. I mean, you guys, we are marketers, and at the same time, we want to have good marketing techniques. So sometimes marketing can be expensive. So, we're going to get out of our business what we put in. If we're being tacky on the marketing side and we don't want to get the necessary tools that we need to get to make sure we're marketing properly and it's professionally, um, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. Okay, um, let's see. Um, this right here is more business cards, um, travel agencies, um, everybody organizations um organizations that i know work with children um i mean lord knows this program uh, ministries um you know you know all types of things um and these are things that i have picked up along the way or while i have been operating this business well even before this because i have other businesses Think back to another business that you have. Think about those individuals who might benefit from this. If they have another business, you can use this feeder program to be able to help them leverage that business. Um, the Parks and Recreation book, um, it tells me everything that's going on, um, anything that's dealing with kids or if they got any special events going on or if, they, if anybody in here fundraising, um, their telephone number, email address, or something is in here for me to contact them. Um, at some point, people, we got to contact people. We got to get out of that. Um, yes, I'm going to be honest. These things right here are old. They are very old. They are, I'm going to, let me see. Um, they are 2012 year old, okay? But I still have them. These things are thick. Do you see this? Look at this. These things are not bad, okay? These are full of telephone numbers. 
email addresses and as you can see I got some things scratched off um, because every year I go back at the end of the day the telephone number is going to be good if you call and you ask for this person um, what's going to happen is they're either going to say um, that person is not this person anymore and that's your opportunity to say well hey may I ask you a question are you struggling with some of your bills this month I have some information that I can share with you. Um, I won't do it right now because I really don't have time. I just wanted to give her a message. But if you uh, give me your email address, I'll forward you some information later on. You've captured that person right there and there. If they want to know, they're either going to say yes or no. That's your opportunity to hang up and go down the line and go to the next one. So um, I'm going to be doing this. I have, you know, different ones. They're leads. Um, they're old, but, you know, hey, um, a try beats a failure. So, um, think about some of the things that you, you already have as a group or individual. Okay, right here you see it's fouls. Fouls of different places that are in my area. Whether it be, um, insurance agent brokers, churches, um, Douglas County stores banks, child care facilities, anything in this area, um, I have all the information right here, including emails. So, um, these are going to be very fun to do. What I can do with the insurance, insurance brokers, if you notice right here, all I did was Gmail, email, I mean, all I did was Google um, Douglasville Insurance Agents Brokers in Douglasville. Um, and it gave me all the Douglasville insurance agents and brokers. Hey, you don't think our program is good enough for us to send them a, a fax email, I mean a, a fax of a flyer saying, hey, we may have some information that may help your, your clients not be late on their insurance bill or not have to drop their policy. Um, they're going to help us introduce that because we're going to introduce it to them and then they're going to introduce it to their clients. As you can see, I have the fax number um, of every one. And to get that information, you guys, I want to make sure you see. To get that information, you guys, I had to pick up the phone and say, hey, how you doing? Um, I was just wondering, can I get your fax number or I want the fax over some information? They're going to give you the fax number. Some of them may ask you some questions say, you know, I don't know yet. I just want to make sure that I have the information just in case they ask me for it. It's the way out of it. Don't panic. Before you call these places, um, give me a call and I'll tell you what to do. But for the most part, spend some time, get on your, um, get on the computer and Google those, these things in your area. Churches. Um, Church information never changed. It never changed. You might need to change your email because I these people. Woo. But anyway, same thing here. The churches. Here is the information. Call and get the fax number. Send them. Um, get an email address where you can get some information. Get on there. Find out what type of ministries they have. Um, and then. Get with me or go to the website and submit um, and get the PowerPoint for the for the church fundraiser. Um, you guys, there are more, like I said, child care facilities. Um, these are all things that, you know, people or organizations that I can reach out to, that you guys can reach out to. So if you have a, if you don't want to deal with the warm market, these are the things that you can deal with. Okay, here you go, you guys. Here's another one. This is another stack of contact information of organizations or um, things that are going on or what have went on or somebody that may have a class. Um, I don't know, but it's nothing but contact information. Um, summer food programs. This information is not going to change. It's a pastor's. We have information that can help them. We gotta reach back out to them. So, um, I I just I save a lot of I save a lot of information. So, 
Uh, for those of you who want to help me with this stack right here, uh, please feel free to help me with this. Um, and I, I swear it is more where this comes from. I have, um, I have papers and papers and papers of, um, I mean tubs and bags of things, contacts, um, people that were looking for things. Uh, go on the school website and you can find who's in charge of the PTA. This is something that you can introduce to them. Um, everything that goes on in my community, get a notebook. Write people's emails and, and things down in the notebook. This is what I've been doing. And I started this, as you can see, 2012. Customers and contact resources. You know, you guys got to start documenting things. Go into your Google, your Gmail account and, um, you know, copy your stuff and put it in the Excel, in an Excel file. And if you don't know how to do that, um, contact me. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I know that was a lot, but I needed for you guys to see that if you really, really look around you, you have the information right there. It's just the fear of being rejected and just go ahead and go through the motions with somebody that you don't know. Prepare yourself for that. Plug into the website. Um, for those of you who are watching this video, and I should have been seeing this last video, for those of you who are watching the video and you don't have a clue of what I am talking about, this um, video right here was made for our Team Marketing Resource Center site. And to go to that site, please visit www. the number one dollar get paid com and go to the marketing section, and that is going to lead you to the link where you can gain access to this awesome um, marketing website system that we have all diligently came together and put together. Um, so, okay, you guys, I want to go ahead and wrap this up. I got another video for you coming up. My name is Coach Mo. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.